Welcome back. So on a watch weekend, box office. Okay, let's just jump right into it. Now, coming at number one this week and debuting on the chart this week, we have It Chapter 2. It brought in $91 million for its opening weekend haul. That's its domestic haul as of right now. It's worldwide. It's sitting at $185 million. So it's pretty good for a scary movie and what have you. I understand it's a little bit lower than what the first one brought in its opening weekend, but still, that's a lot of money. If you took all the ones that are in the top 10 right now, they would not even come close to that number. That's how much they made that weekend, right? And Angel has fallen to number two. Haha, <laughs> see what I did there? And it brought in $5.9 million for its weekend haul. It dropped down 49% from last week. Its total domestic is sitting at 53.4. It still does not have a worldwide release, and I do not understand why not, but that's where they're at. They're only at 53.4. I don't know. It's kind of messed up. And dropping down to number three, we've got Good Boys. They brought in four point excuse me, $5.4 million for their weekend haul. They dropped down a little over 42% from last week. Their total domestic is sitting at $66.9 million. Their worldwide is sitting at $82.6 million. Now coming in at number four this week, we've got Disney's Lion King. They brought in $4.3 million for their weekend haul. They're down almost 38% from last week. They're Total domestic is sitting at $529.2 million. Their worldwide is sitting at $1.6 billion. That's worth a B. And coming at number five, we've got Hobbs and Shaw. They brought in $3.8 million for their weekend haul. They dropped down a little over 41% from last week. Their total domestic as of right now is sitting at $164.3 million. Their worldwide is sitting at $721 million. That's not too bad. They're almost to a billion. And coming at number six this week, we have Overcomer. Now, they brought in $3.7 million for their weekend haul. They're down almost 35% from last week. Their total domestic haul as of right now is $24.6 million. Now, they added on another 326 theaters to their overall screenings and stuff like that, but they still do not have a worldwide box office release. And coming at number seven this week, we've got Dora and the Lost City of Gold. Now, they bring in $2.34 million for their weekend haul. They're down almost 43% from last week. Their total domestic haul as of right now is $54.3 million. Their worldwide is sitting at $82.5 million. Now, coming at number eight this week, we've got Ready or Not. Now, they brought in $2.310 million for their weekend haul. Now, they're down almost 61% from last week. Their total domestic haul as of right now is $25.7 million, but they now they've got a worldwide release. They're sitting at $39 million. Now coming at number nine, we've got Scary Stories Tell in the Dark. Now they bring in $2.2 million for their weekend haul. Their total domestic as of right now is sitting at $62 million. Their worldwide is sitting at $88.8 million. Now coming at number 10, jump it back up for them. I mean, you got to give them credit. Quentin Tarantino brings in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. They bring in $2.1 million for their weekend haul. Their total domestic is sitting at $134.3 million. Their worldwide is sitting at $310.5 million. Now, that is a one weird going top 10. Did you see any of these movies in the top 10? I mean, like, wow, man. I mean... Lion King at $1.6 billion. That's pretty damn awesome. So, I don't know. Did you see these movies in the top 10? Let me know in the comments down below. Now it's time for Stone to Watch 15 or 2. All right, let's just jump right into it. Now, coming in number 1 for 15 or 2 this week, we've got The Goldfinch. Now, I just watched the trailer for this movie, and it looked pretty interesting. I mean, I haven't really heard anything about it, but that doesn't really mean much because it doesn't really seem like kind of a movie I would really be like looking up get information on anyway because like you know obviously i'm star wars and avengers and all that other jazz but it does look pretty cool they're calling it a drama now the description says a boy in new york is taken in by a wealthy upper east side family after his mother is killed in a bombing at a metropolitan museum of art now it looked pretty damn interesting and stuff like that they go back and forth with like the kid and the older version of the kid and whatnot through this through this movie, or at least in the trailer, it looked pretty interesting. I mean, if I had to say, again, off the bat, I'm going to go matinee. I mean, it looked good, but I can't really see myself painting any more matinee for it. I mean, I don't know. Did you see the trailer for The Gold Fitch? Are you going to go check this movie out? I mean, I don't know. It's being directed by John Crowley. It's uh, starring uh, Nicole Kidman, uh, Wolf, I mean, Finn 
Wolfhard from uh, the Stranger Things movie, Sarah Paulson, and uh, Elson Elkert. I mean, again, this movie looked pretty interesting to me. I haven't heard a word about it until the other day when, for show prep and what have you, but looks pretty good. I say matinee. I don't know. What do you think? You going to go see the goldfinch? Let me know in the comments down below. Second on the list, we've got Hustlers. Now, they're calling this movie a comedy crime drama thriller. Now, I just watched the trailer for this movie about five seconds ago, and I don't know, it looks okay. Uh, if, if, I, if I did watch this, I, I, would, I don't know. I mean, it didn't look bad. I mean, the description says it's inspired by the viral New York Magazine article, Hustlers follows the crew, a savvy former strip club employees who band together to turn the tables on their Wall Street clients. Now, it just looks like a bunch of, you know, a bunch of strippers and stuff like that are trying to take advantage of, you know, like the suit and ties and stuff like that, coming to the club and whatnot, trying to get and spend their money, you know, buy a booze and whatnot, what they do. I don't know. I, you know what? Maybe if I caught it on an afternoon on HBO or something, they might or whatnot, but I doubt I'd pay money to see this in a the theater myself personally. I mean, it looked kind of funny, but I, I, I don't know. It's not really, I don't know. Did you see the trailer for Hustlers? Are you going to go check this movie out? Let me know in the comments down below. I mean, it's being directed by Lorraine uh, Scarfia, uh, starring Constant Wu, uh, Jennifer Lopez, Julia Stiles, and Kiki Palmer. Again, I don't know, man. This It looked kind of funny, but I, I definitely won't pay money in the theater to see it. That's just me personally. What do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. Third, um, for 15 or 2 this week, we've got the Sound of the Silence. Now, I just watched the trailer for this movie a few minutes ago, and I have to say it's kind of weird. Now, they're calling it a drama. Now, the description reads, A successful house tuner in New York City who calibrates the sound in people's home in order to adjust their moods. He meets a client with a problem he can't solve. And obviously, if you've seen the trailer, he has the hots for her. So, I don't know who's got more of the problem that can't be solved, him or her. But, anyway, um, it looks okay. And I doubt if I paid any more for it, you guessed it, matinee. I mean, that's at the most. And that's if you could actually, if I actually would go, I mean, I don't know about this one. This one is definitely almost like a Saturday, Sunday afternoon on cable, as far as I'm concerned. Um, it's being directed by Michael Ty Bursky. I think that's how you say your name. If I do apologize, it's starring Peter uh, Sagar, Sazgar, I think it's how, I think that's how you say it. Uh, Rashida Jones, Tony uh, Rivoroni, I think that the, the kid from Flash, from the Spider-Man Far From Home and Homecoming, and Austin Pendleton. Again, it doesn't look like a terrible movie, but I'm saying like I'm saying like a Saturday more Saturday afternoon on cable. I, I mean, if I if I went to the theater, no more than a matinee. Just saying. I don't know. Have you seen the trailer for The Sound of Silence? Let me know in the comments down below. Man, I gotta tell you, it's a weird week for movies. Now coming forth. On the list for 15 or 2 this week, we got Monos. Now, they're calling it a drama thriller. And I got to tell you, I just watched the trailer for this a few, mi few minutes ago. And this is a weird movie. Weird. Um, the description reads, On a faraway mountaintop, eight kids with guns watch over a hostage and a conscripted milk cow. So, <laughs> I don't know about that. Um, it's being directed by... El Gendro, El Gendro Lands, starring Sofia Bovoventra, uh, Julian uh, Ger, Gerdardo, Karen Quattro, Quintro, and Laura Kestrin. Kestrin? I'm sorry if I butchered your name. I suck with names. Um, I don't know. I don't know about this one, man. I mean, I maybe if I caught it on cable at home, for sure. I definitely wouldn't pay money to see this movie because <clears throat> the trailer does nothing for me to, to excite me to go see this movie. I don't know about this one, man. Have you seen the trailer for Monos? You can go check this movie out. I don't know. Me, I, I probably wouldn't. I, the trailer does nothing for me, so I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below. And finally, on the list for 15 or 2, we've got Depraved. Now, I just watched the trailer for this movie the other day. I don't know, it looks kind of messed up. I mean, if I had to say right off the bat, if I actually went and seen this one at the theater, I had to go matinee. I, I'm cheap. 
I, I say it all the time, but I'm just saying. I mean, it didn't look terrible and what have you, but I don't know. But the description reads, a disillusioned field surgeon suffering from PTSD makes a man out of body parts and brings him back to life in a Brooklyn loft. Now, to me, it just sounds like a retelling of young Frankenstein or like that, you know, making the monster and what have you, just an updated version. There was more, and like this one actually talks and what have you as far as like the Frankenstein uh, monster character dude. So like that was kind of creepy and what have you. So that, I don't know about that one. That was kind of weird. I don't know. Uh, it's being directed by Larry Fessenden. Uh, sorry if I butchered your name, dude. Um, starring David Call, Joshua Leonard, Alex Bredol, and Anna Kane. Now, again, I doubt, I, I don't think, I, if I actually did, I'd say matinee, but I doubt it. I just doubt it, but I don't know. Did you see the trailer for Depraved? Are you going to go check this one out in, the, out in the movies? Let me know in the comments down below. Okay, I want to bring this up because I kind of misspoke last week, uh, show, in last week's show, when I said that the She-Hulk and the Moon Knight and the Miss Marvel shows are not part of Phase 4. Apparently, they are. Again, I don't know any dates and like when they're going to air or whatnot or anybody who's going to be in it. I'm just saying I, I saw like a, a graphic like shortly after I did the show saying it, listing that they were part of Phase 4. I don't know where. Obviously, they're going to be after, at least after the Hawkeye show, right? Because that's where the thing that they showed at San Diego Comic-Con ended was at Hawkeye. So they're obviously going to be at least after that, maybe, unless they update that too. So I, don't, I haven't seen anything about that. Have you? Let me know in the comments down below. Speaking of Hawkeye, it was just recently announced that, that Haley Steinfeld is being casted at Kate Bishop for the, Hawk, excuse me, for the Hawkeye show. Now, again, I don't know this character, Kate Bishop, at all. I'm more familiar with the Hawkeye from the West Coast Avengers and stuff like that back from like the late 80s and early 90s. I don't know anything about this storyline. I'm, I'm interested to see it. And like she did pretty good in, in Bumblebee. I like that movie a lot. A lot better than the last two or three uh, Transformer movies. Right now, if I had to rank my Transformer movies, I like the very first one with Shia and I like Bumblebee. The other ones were all right. As far as I'm concerned, I'm not saying like they were totally garbage, like the, but the last night one, that one sucked. I'm sorry. That one sucked. I didn't like that one. And I didn't really care for the, both of the, I, unfortunately for Mark Wahlberg, I didn't care for either one of those really. I mean, they, they wasted the dinos, di, the dino bots on that movie. As far as I'm concerned. Also, it's just been recently announced that Apple plus is going to be launching on November 1st. Their uh, fee is going to be four ninety nine, but Right now, I mean, they got some shows that are coming up. They seem that they might be kind of good. But until I see more on them, I'm not really all that excited. I mean, they got a Jason Momoa show. They've got a Steven Spielberg show thing they're going to do. They've got um, apparently a Steve Carell show that they're going to do. I mean, some things, they, they sound kind of good. But until I start seeing some, some trailers and what have you, I'm not going to be all that excited. Also, they say you get a free subscription if you like buy like an Apple device, like an iPhone or an iPad or what have you. So... And again, I, I got an Android phone. I'm not going to buy an, an Apple phone just for, but that's just me. Anyway, I don't know. What do you think? You're going to sign up for Apple Plus? Let me know in the comments down below. Um, top 10. I mean, it's pretty. it was pretty crazy, to say the least. Uh, it chopped, you know, $91 million and whatnot. I think it's going to drop down. I'm, I'm going to predict at least maybe around 40% going into this second week, but who knows? Um I don't know. Did you see any, any, any of these movies in the top 10? Let me know in the comments down below. Good Finch. I'm hearing mixed reviews on it. It looks okay. You know, I don't know. Uh, Hustlers. I, I'm definitely not going to go see that one in the theaters. Sound of Silence looks kind of good. But again, I doubt I'll go see that one in the theaters. It's definitely a sitting at home one. Monos, I, that one looks way messed up. I, I don't get that movie at all. So I doubt it. And Depraved, that one looks kind of spooky and what have you, kind of creepy. And it's like I said, it just looks like a retelling of um, retelling of uh, Frankenstein and whatnot. So I don't know. Disney Plus, uh, everything else, uh, what have you, you getting Disney Plus? You're going to get Apple Plus. Let me know in the comments down below. Please like and subscribe and click on that bell so you can be notified every time we drop a new video. Have a good week, people. Peace. And I want to take a moment to give a shout out to the 9-11 first responders, um, the victims and their families. 
um, never forget. And again, to the first responders and everybody else that was down there at ground zero afterwards and what have you, that was one hell of a day. I can say, I always have to say and whatnot. And thank you. Never forget.